an early Christmas present for sky watchers as the moon becomes immersed in the Earth's shadow. Just after 2.40 Tuesday morning, the moon disappeared, a total lunar eclipse. And this doesn't happen, but uh, once every 15, 20 years, uh, and it's very rare uh, that it's visible. This was the first time a total lunar eclipse coincided with the winter solstice in more than three centuries. 1638 was the last time it happened. The next time, expected to be December 21st, 2094. That the mechanics of the universe is working correctly. Uh, lots of eclipses have been seen for a long time, so there's not a lot of research going on as far as that, uh, that goes. But uh, as far as the exact timings and things, it's nice to, to see that all those things are, are working correctly. It's been a long time since there's been one. It'll be a long time before another one comes, and I probably won't be here. The lunar eclipse, which is safe to watch with the naked eye, lasted a little more than an hour. An eclipse is when the Earth cast its shadow on the full moon, blocking the sun's rays that otherwise reflect off the moon's surface. Some indirect sunlight still pierces through to give the moon its eerie hue. It's a great, uh, a great chance to see science in action. So this is... Um, yeah, that's, that's probably the most exciting thing is this is, this is science and uh, it's, it's in its purest form. Everybody can see it. This lunar eclipse was visible from North and Central America. Portions of Europe and Asia caught part of the show. The next total lunar eclipse will occur next June and will be most visible in East Africa. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.